In this video, we are going to talk about how to do garter stitch in the round. And we're going to use uh, this super bulky weight yarn, and we're going to work with this uh, short cable circular knitting needle. This is a 16 inch circular needle, and if you have been on the channel for a while, you will know about me that I love to do magic loop for everything. And while you can magic loop this particular stitch pattern, I personally did not have great results doing it that way, and I find that I get a much nicer result when I work on a short circular. And, you know, you're going to need a short circular in your knitting repertoire anyway, especially if you want to do a little color work. So let me show you the project. Here we have this darling, it's actually a hat, and it is the cutest little cat-eared beanie. If you did it in brown, you could call it a little bear. It's so precious, and I love the stretch. And because we're doing it on circular needles, the way that you would expect to do it is just might be a little surprising to you. Um, what I will say with garter is you're going to wind up having this little um, seam on one side and that's where the round changes and you can, um, I have seen somebody who um, will I guess like lift the bottom stitch. I have to try that out myself. I haven't tried her technique for eliminating the seam. To me it's not that much, but I will let you know that if you just knit this um, project the way I'm going to show you, then you're, you're going to have that little seam. So know that going in, but then this side is, you know, it's perfect. So uh, we'll uh, investigate how to get rid of the gutter in a later video. Today let's just talk about the garter stitch. So when we do garter stitch on a flat project, which I happen to have my scarf over here, we get this stitch pattern when we do flat knitting um, by just knitting back and forth. We knit every single stitch. And what happens is when we are on the uh, wrong side, all of our pearls will show up. And of course, um, unless you have a color change, uh, either side is the same in garter, which is sort of sort of cool. I think it's a great scarf pattern myself, and uh, you know I recommend it to all beginners. But you're just going to knit every stitch. Uh, if you are on a circular project and you knit every stitch, what will happen is you'll wind up with stockinette. So we have to do something a little bit different when we do garter in the round. So without further ado, uh, let's put this to the side. I'm going to insert um, a couple of pictures now so that you can see the project in question. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cast on uh, like 40 stitches or so, uh, 30 or 40 stitches, and uh, I'm going to get that on the needle and then I'll meet you back here and we'll talk about um, what we're going to do to get that stitch pattern to work. Okay, so we're back. I went ahead and just did a few rounds and mostly because my next door neighbor was cutting the lawn and I didn't want the lawnmower noise in the video. So I just kept knitting. Um, but you can see I've got a nice sized sample now of this uh, gutter stitch, uh, what is basically going to be a hat in the, in the round. And uh, what we're going to do, you can see if you look carefully, this is a purl stitch. And so uh, to do garter in the round, you're going to alternate what you do uh, on each round. So this is a purl, and you can see before that I did knitting, knit stitch. So uh, let's just take a look at it, and we're just going to knit around. Um, <laughs> Also, I would uh, suggest using the stitch marker, even though, you know, when you're really 
um, accustomed to looking at your knitting, <laughs> you can very easily miss that you started a new round and uh, just keep on with whatever stitch you were doing. Uh, so just do yourself a favor, go ahead and put a stitch marker in. And literally we're just going to knit around. And I'm going to, uh, I'll go ahead and knit this round and I'll meet you back and then we'll just take a look at the next, the next part. Because this is, this is pretty much just what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just going to knit every stitch. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. That's, this is literally it. This is the whole, uh, way of crafting garter in the round you're just going to alternate knit and purl rounds that and that's that's it that's your whole stitch pattern to follow i just think it's so interesting how when you knit garter flat it's knit to every stitch but when you're on circular knitting because you're always on the right side of the fabric when you circular knit, you have to include those purl stitches. Otherwise, you only see knit stitches. So that's that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm just going to um, purl my way all the way around, and um, you know, do it to, to the the uh, the height that I want, whatever my project is that I'm working on. And eventually I'll have something uh, similar to this and it's such a fun squishy stretchy pattern it's garter is so stretchy it's almost like having a um, a ribbing it's so stretchy so uh, try it out I think you'll be surprised at what a cute hat this makes and the um, full pattern description is going to be in my down bar. I have a little blog post all about it and some other really, really fun, cute pictures. So go check it out and uh, enjoy your garter in the round. I think it's fun. I really like it. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it as well. And I will see you in the next video.